Hey, you guys, welcome to another, I almost said Geek Legacy, another Geek <laughs> with the Blue Bin Brands crew. That's, my, that's the other gig, but hey, I hope everyone is doing fantastic. Today we're going to talk about Transformers, Flame Toys, and maybe even a little bit about this little spider guy here that uh, you can get right now at bluefinbrands.com as part of our spring into savings deal. We have so many bundles, uh, you know, ranging from Marvel to Dragon Ball to uh, Case Clothes. Uh, you know, we have uh, Cowboy Bebop. So many bundles, bluefinbrands.com. Make sure to check it all out. While you're there, you're already on the site. Might as well enter to win some free stuff. We're giving away a ton of Gundams, a ton of Gunpla. Go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest where you can enter to win. I believe there's going to be some in the neighborhood of, uh, you know, over a dozen winners. Uh, the grand prize winner is going to get over 20 kits, including a perfect grade RX-78. We're going to have two first prize winners, giving away Ooh. two of those bad boys. So hope everyone's excited. Hope everyone enters often and frequently. You can enter every single day at bluefinbrands.com slash contest. It's all action-based, super-duper easy. Follow us, uh, you know, on social platforms. If uh, you're not a social media kind of person, you there, there's visit our website and other actions that you can do in order to get your entries so that you can enter to win this amazing prize. So Justin, AJ, David, it's like deja vu all over again. <laughs> we got we got the A team back again talking about Transformers and Flame Toys. And David, you are the brand manager for Flame Toys, bringing us all these great things. Why don't you uh, walk us through uh, the, the two we have here that are on sale right now at bluefinbrands.com. Yeah, awesome. So first we have uh, Bug Bite, who uh, you, you diehard fans know. He was a GoBot. Uh, <laughs> now now he's a uh, Transformer. Uh, he uh, actually had his uh, his, little, his debut as a modern Transformer in uh, Earthrise uh, on Netflix, which was pretty awesome. Uh, I really liked how him and Bumblebee did not get along because, like, they look so similar. <laughs> you know, I, I, I love the jokes that everyone kept saying. Uh, like me, no, the ugly one. And it's like you're the same thing. <laughs> you know, uh, great. I love the markings on him. Uh, you know, Bumblebee's a great kit. Um, for my kit bash friends, he's a great kit bash fodder. I I have a lot of those hammers for a lot of different figures. <laughs> uh, and, I, and 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 the, and the jetpack also turned into some cannon for somebody else. So I uh, he, he's great fodder for that. Uh, which is kind of how I see all my kids. Unfortunately, sorry guys. Um, <laughs> Scrap and then, uh, I, uh, I I also really like the clear optimist too, uh, just because one, I mean, it's a clear kit, which is awesome. The cool thing is though, a lot of clear kits have a, have a problem of having brittle plastic. The cool thing with the clear optimist is he has the same level of plastic that the regular one has, so it's still sturdy, and like I don't feel like I will snap it in half, which is great. Uh, and then it also comes in a really cool tin uh, that, that, that you saw you just uh, took apart there. Uh, and the, no, the top of the tin has like like that little uh, a, a little film thing that you know kind of complete the matrix of leadership design there. But like if you turn the, the top around, David, if, see there's a you, you take the paper off and or the, the plastic off and you can put a light in there, uh, which I've seen uh, like I, I child to our oh. friend Jay who did that. Yeah, so that, that, that that's removable. Um, uh, and so you could put like a light in there if you want to just shine like the matrix of leadership through there and maybe like have Optimus stand on top of it or something. But it's a really cool box. I mean, I mean, it's, it's made of metal, so like it's got you know, it's got the staying power. <laughs> yeah. So in case, home protection, you could beat yeah. the hell out of anybody that comes to take in, your model kits. In case of zombies, you know, you never sure. know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I actually really, I really like the ten. The ten is a, it's a it's a one and done thing, and uh, that that one's been running out the fastest because you know, I mean, it's it's Optimus in a metal tin, so I mean, clearly. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, packaging. They're, they're, kids, they're both both really good kids. Awesome. Yeah, I agree with David. More things need to come with hammers. There's swords everywhere, guns everywhere, but like, there, like, there's nothing better than like a meaty, beefy like warhammer or something like that. You know, <laughs> you see it in like, uh, like MMOs like World of Warcraft. You get these paladins with these giant like hammers, or like Robert Baratheon from like Game of Thrones. And yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I'm always a fan of the the blunt, the blunt objects or axe hammers. Like one of the things I did was I took the axe from the Shattered Glass Optimus Prime model kit, cut off like the axe part, and I, I'm working. I'm working on uh, fusing it with the hammer because it's not enough just to have a hammer. You need also a giant axe at the same time. <laughs> Innovator right there. <laughs> Sounds like you're never going to be happy with anything. Axe is no good. Hammer is no good. We need axe Model hammers. Kit is about kit bashing for me. That's what it's about. I I mean, if you, if you look behind me in, in, the, uh, in the in in the part of my pile, I've got three and four of the same kits. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, I like that one piece. I will buy four. 
<laughs> do you wear like a lab coat and you have like a crazy <laughs> monocle when you're trying to kit bash? No, I just have a giant headpiece with lights on it and like it makes lights and noise and stuff. It's pretty cool. That's, that works. <laughs> At least you're I protecting see, uh, yourself, you know. Yeah. Safety comes first. <laughs> I see you as like a Dr. Nefario from like the Minions movie or something like that. Just like, <laughs> big old goggles, just like yeah. I'm soldered. Why are when, you so old? <laughs> when, when I first started working at Blue Cut, I remember like the first thing I ever bought like from the company was I ordered uh, six Master Grade Gogs. And they were like, I'm like, I need the arms. I need the arms. <laughs> I need to fix, yes. <laughs> You're like the rocket raccoon of Bluefin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need that leg. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now, now, Justin, you are an enormous Transformer fan. You have found your love for Transformers, uh, you know, uh, yeah, obviously as a kid, but more recently, you've really, really gotten into Transformers. So, uh, so, so, how, so you build flame model kits and you have one, I believe, handy. Uh, I, I, well, that's not built. I have two in a box. I I am suffering from David Clark's uh, backlog <laughs> problem. Oh no! It's a Thundercracker, if you can't see, and a Starscream, but they're on the to do list. David. <laughs> nice. Now you need Skywarping up all three seekers. Yeah, he uh, he went bye bye pretty quick. Spoiler alert in that War for Cybertron. Yeah, he died. He died. Series. Well, he he, he get exploded. <laughs> <laughs> he needs an eject button, but he didn't have. What happened? I was like, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, it's too bad. That's it's a shame. Yeah, one. <laughs> you're right. I know. I I love Star Wars. Or um, I said Star Wars, but I love Transformers. I had a couple when I was a kid. I had the Bumblebee, the little tiny guy, and he had like um the that sort of heat sensing uh, sticker on him. You know, the, mm -hmm. to reveal whether he was an Autobot or a Decepticon. And then I had a Soundwave. And that's pretty much. Oh, and I had a, I had a uh, Grimlock. Those are the only three Transformers mm -hmm. that I had as a kid. And um, now, uh, fast forward, uh, thirty-five plus years later, I now have a ton, <laughs> and it's 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 a little bit embarrassing <laughs> because I just keep getting more and more and more. And uh, my better half is like, more robots, Justin. I'm like, yeah, they're robots in disguise. They're amazing. I gotta have them. <laughs> this you one's a like blender. A, there's a pretty big devastator behind me. Um, he's he's pretty awesome. And then I have a I have a Scorponok at my at my feet that I have yet to open, but uh, I have him right here. He's pretty awesome. And it was cool to see him in the uh, the new animated series too. I was like, oh my god, Scorponok! There he is. Look how cool. It's like my toy. <laughs> <laughs> Just like your toy, AJ. Are you a uh, are you a big flame guy? I know. Uh, I know you build Gunpla and you build uh, the figure eye stuff. You also build the flame kits. I do build the flame kits. I do like how they come out. Like they're they're posable. Like that's the best part. Is that usually over time some kits kind of wobble around, but not the case with the flame kits. Like they're pretty sturdy. Once you pose them, you're like, all right, cool, set and done. And you can get those poses that, you know, even like the photos that Justin's sharing too, like you get those poses with ease. And I love that. Like I'm all about articulation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I love like the, the, the quality of plastic too. Like for me, like it's kind of hard to describe the feel, but it, it, it feels like I, I built an actual toy, like not mm -hmm. like a model. And uh, I mean, they're tough. I mean, uh, back when cons were a thing in the old world, <laughs> Uh, you know, we, we used to have touch and try. People could, you know, try out, you know, the market to see how they were. And we had one Thundercracker, bless his soul, who survived being thrown by children. One, <laughs> one, one kid thought he could fly, and he wanted to <laughs> And it survives. I, I was shocked. <laughs> That's awesome. He's like, I can transform this. You're like, oh. <laughs> no, it's a model. <laughs> yeah, like, even the you... details that go with them are, they're great. Like yeah. just even looking at this, like oh my goodness! Yeah. Right, this is one of my favorite ones right here. The the Rodimus Prime, like his detail is insane, especially with like those pipes on his legs. I really yeah. love the hot Cheeto colors they go in for. It. Like, right. I, like it's like it really pops, and I love that. <laughs> I, I still haven't forgiven Hot Rod slash Rodimus Prime for being responsible <laughs> for the death of Optimus Prime in 1986. Oh no, for sure, for sure. He's yeah. he, he is awful. <laughs> little what kid in the theater just crying on my popcorn what does Brad Gabby did <laughs> <laughs> the we were at a birthday I, party I, 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 I cannot wait to kit bash that with, uh, with Drift it's going to be amazing 
Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were sharing photos of the Kurokara Curry for Megatron, that awesome looking, uh, you know, black and uh, you know, kit with the purple, purple yeah. mace and everything like that. And it's amazing kind of the transformation that Megatron's gone through over the years because, you know, when we first met him, you know, in the mid 80s, you know, as uh, he was the bumbling leader of the Decepticons. And while they were the bad guys, you know, he wasn't particularly menacing. He was always kind of like, yeah, your plan's not going to work, Megatron. <laughs> I don't care. You're not going to get the energy on that you want. Something's going to go awry to where, you know, he's kind of become really, really more menacing, like, as the years go through. And uh, that Kurt Car Curry just you know, kind of takes it on another level. Like, Megatron's scary now. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a bad dude. I think that figure is four hundred dollars. Is that correct? That's correct. Yep. It yeah. is. Uh, it is on its way, guys. It it it, it, it was a, a victim of delays due to the world <laughs> happening. Uh, but it it is on its way. It should be here within the next month or so, providing nothing explodes or sets on fire or we're not taken over by aliens. There you go. So, or giant yeah, waves. Alien Road cars, waves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can't discount anything going on right now in the, in the 2020s. It could happen, man. We could be an alien rule by tomorrow. I, you know, I, oh, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Justin, you brought up the, the Netflix series. You know, we we have we are two thirds of the way through. Uh, it's a three it's three part limited series. Uh, you know, what are your thoughts? What were your thoughts going into the second phase? And uh, did they change at the end of you know the the second series? I don't think so. I think I had like some pretty remarkable expectations when the first season came out and then they were kind of uh, they shifted. <laughs> so going into season two, um, I think my expectations were a little bit more leveled out and um, I enjoyed it. It's only six episodes. Um, it was more of a long fight scene than anything else. There was a, some build up at the beginning, but for the most part, it was like a four episode fight scene. So um, I was on board. I had a good time. I do think it's interesting when they run instead of transforming into vehicles. I haven't quite figured that part out, but um, I feel like a truck could drive faster than a running robot, but I don't know. <laughs> There's a couple times, like I think, like at the during the arena, like I forget who, but transformed back into like the car and just like drove out. I'm like, there we go. You don't yeah. need to run, just it drive happens. out. Right. Yeah. Some of you can fly. We're jets. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> And I liked how I liked how Megatron was kind of had like this Hamlet moment, and he's you know talking to um, Ultra Magnus. Ultra Magnus, yeah, and he's yeah. just like having these conversations with him, having little tea parties with with a head, and it's pretty awesome. I was like, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. well, well, At first, well, I thought he was just monologuing to himself. I'm like, oh boy, and then they yeah. shot the head. Oh, okay, it's not as crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm monologuing. Corpse. Yeah, that's brutal. Now, by the way. <laughs> now, 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 David, going into you know what it presumably is the third and final act of this era, uh, are you are you filled with excitement? Are you uh, do you think you know where we're going, or are you uh, you uh, just feel like you've invested a lot of your life, so now you just kind of have to see how this ends? I, I'm I'm really excited to see because I mean, it, 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 from what it looks like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to you know put, you know say for sure, but if I want to say from that ending tra uh, ending scene. Looks like we're going Beast Wars. Uh, you know, I would like to see Optimus Primal. Uh, you know, Optimus. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Optimus. I, I want to see him. Um, I would love to see Black Arachnia pop up. I think that would be cool. Um, I don't care how they do it. I would like to see Grimlock. I mean, it, it don't even make sense. Just just have him show up. doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I, I like to see some of the ones from my childhood because I actually got into Transformers through Beast Wars. That's what I saw first. So, oh. I, like for you me, still was, stuck it through. That's that's, that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, man, I had the Trans Metal Op Op Optimus Primal, the one where his feet turned to a snowboard or whatever hoverboard it was. I thought in my head it was a snowboard because that was cool. Uh, but like having that toy, like that hooked me onto the whole franchise, and I. And, and for years, I think I think it wasn't until like three or four years ago that I found out that Optimus Primal and Optimus Prime were not the same character. Blew my mind. <laughs> I was like, what? Didn't have Wikipedia back then. Well, no, well, yeah. Optimus Prime does show up in a, like two episodes of uh, Beast Wars. <laughs> I think there's a couple scenes with the two of them together. Yeah, uh, Beast Wars was probably the best. It's maybe even to this day still the best storytelling in Transformers. But uh, that uh, that early early CGI animation does. Doesn't hold up so well. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was very young, so my memories are pew pew, transform, <laughs> and snowboard. 
So waspinator. <laughs> That's who I want. I want the I want the waspinator. He's a tragic tale of just poor, poor. They're not Decepticons. Predacon. <laughs> yeah, but no, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, you know, of course, you know, we have Optimus Primal from from Flame uh, coming out later this year, which is going to be great with its articulate fingers, which is fantastic. So I'm hoping that we can get more. I, I, I've been pushing for a black rat yet, y'all. So <laughs> oh, if y'all would like to push for that with me, please comment on our post. <laughs> black rat should, uh, should be Justin's favorite. Justin likes the, the creepy scientists from like cartoons, like Dr. Mindbender. I do. <laughs> I, do. I, I am a sucker for the creepy scientists, especially like, so Shockwave is my favorite Transformer. And that's mainly just because of how terrifying he is. You know, he has like no conscience whatsoever. He's just like, we need more power. Here's let's, let's suck the juice out of these guys over here, and then we'll, we'll have it. We need one point twenty one gigawatts, and this guy's got it. So let's take it. And he's just a real creeper. I love that. Sounds yeah. more menacing, man. <laughs> yeah. There are certain points in the Netflix series. It seems like there are certain points where he even like creeped out Megatron. He was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bad. You might be evil. He's like Megatron. I can do it in three days, but if you let me cut off the heads of everybody, I can do it in two. Right. Like when Megatron totally. like when, he, when he has to tour that factory to make a decision mm -hmm. whether to shut him down oh. and like oh, the I foreman's felt... like all waving to Megatron. Uh, like, hey, it's great I felt so you. bad at that scene. Like the dude's limping and like Megatron oh, has a conscience. He's like, Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. And then you just hear him and then so you're gonna you're gonna end this uh, section? Oh, please don't. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. hardcore. Because hard. they were so happy to see. They were nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey. that was brutal. Yeah, the Decepticons are just more fun, <laughs> right? <laughs> they really enjoy their work. They they roll up their sleeves and they they, they have a smile on their face as they're exterminating you know the Thanos level extermination of all Autobots. <laughs> oh man. But uh, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to the, this this next part. I'm ho I know I know it's supposed to be a trilogy, but if they, I mean, they can go ahead and just like give me like an after credit scene, like maybe like after Beast Wars things go dormant and then like they sleep for millions of years, and now you see humans or whatever. Now they can go into like you know the more modern day stuff. I, I would love that, you know. Just give me something. Don't don't end it here. Don't yeah. end it here. They, they 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 could uh, they could get the the series could end with them the Autobots all getting on the Ark. And just taken off, and the after credit scene could be, uh, you know, Megatron and his people being on their spire and being like, "Hey, we found them," and then them chasing, and that could lead directly into, you know, you know a reboot or reimagination of the original series. Okay. But I know that you know, Optimus needs to go pick up Alita One. With Megatron out here trying to steal his girl, like hard. Like, <laughs> Megatron is Mister Steal Your Girl. <laughs> real hard. Man. Well, in the in the the original Gen One, don't they crash land on Earth and then they're just like powered down for like sixty four million years, and yeah. then all of a sudden yeah. it's fast forward yeah. to nineteen eighty something. Yeah, they crash land in the time of the dinosaurs, millions yeah. and millions of years, and so they're there for. Oh, well, actually, no, I think I think it's within only four million years. So the, the animators didn't really know their timetable, but. Uh, oh, Wikipedia. So yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they they crash land four million years, and they're they're done for four million years. Gotcha. And in between that, that's when Beast Wars and Beast Mich uh, Beast, Beast Wars and Beast Machines takes place in between then. Gotcha. Because in Beast Wars, spoiler alert for a you know thirty year old television show, they it's never said that they're on Earth because uh, the planet they land on has two moons, and then it's not until the the final season that one of the moons all of a sudden becomes Unicron and it's one moon, and then you see these like cavemen people and you realize oh man they're on Earth, and you're like wait a minute that means the Transformers are here, and uh, there's a there's a really really good scene with Mega Di Dinosaur Megatron. Where he finds the Ark and he's sitting there looking over Optimus Prime, who's completely helpless, and he's about to blast his head off. And I believe he actually does destroy Optimus Prime, blast his head off, and then Optimus Primal and uh, the uh, the Maximals have to reconstruct Optimus Prime's head. So then they go to David's kit bashing center <laughs> and then they <laughs> bring him back to life. <laughs> At the feet of <laughs> it's important to have backup. I'm gonna start calling you Shockwave around the office, David. <laughs> <laughs> Shockwave over here. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to see if I, if I have if, if my extra Optimus is nearby. Let's see. Oh man! In my head, you just have parts and like like you have like like drawers. Oh, you need a no. head? Oh yeah. What, what's your arms? Arms? Yeah. Head? I don't have just parts. Okay, I have parts. I have parts of them just kind of hanging around. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, you organized for that. Right here, too. 
<laughs> this service more is uh, appreciate. <laughs> so we, there is a question okay. from Soundwave TFP saying, "So where's that Soundwave model kit?" So, David, they got some requests out here. If people want oh. these, tr- <laughs> best believe it has been communicated. <laughs> Soundwave, <laughs> please. Uh, as soon as I'm able to say anything about that, if I know anything, I will definitely make sure you know you guys know. Uh, sure. What what are the uh, the next kits that we have confirmed? You know, we have we have Windblade, we have Rodimus Prime, uh, Rodimus Prime, Shattered Glass Drift. Uh, Windblade will start uh, uh, pre-orders uh, at the end of this month. Um, we we announced uh, uh, an RC uh, will, will be coming soon, so hopefully this year uh, and. Uh, Mm, I almost said a bunch that I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> That's why I went to you. I have somebody in my head. I'm like, wait a minute. Did they, am I allowed to say these ones? Yeah. <laughs> we, we almost got them, <laughs> chat. <laughs> we almost had it, chat. Dang. <laughs> you were close, y'all. You were close. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the, 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 those are the ones that are upcoming right now that we can that we can say. And, of course, you know, we have G.I. Joe, too, which is pretty cool. Part of the Hasbro-verse, which I'm, I'm looking forward to. Um, that will be starting at the beginning of next month. So... And there, there are some things in that line that I cannot wait to kit batch with some Transformers. <laughs> you know, they come out of the box perfectly happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're definitely that Sid in Toy Story. <laughs> right. Yeah, take it easy, Sid. He's got like, TNT. Yeah, uh, Except you're not as violent. You're, you're more creative on that end. You're right. on the... Uh, here are the remnants of one of the Thundercrackers. <laughs> oh, oh sad. So but, if you need a part, but David's he made, got it. <laughs> but now Optimus can fly. So, I mean... It's better than running. <laughs> if you're like that <laughs> child, you could chuck it and it's still flying. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I mean, like, canonically in my head. And <laughs> cat, so that if he ever was to come alive, he could fly naturally. That's the thought problem. You've only given them powers when they when they come to life and you know enslave us all. <laughs> it's what it is, man. <laughs> so now it's like, are just wings. Like if he's just a, a, like a lousy heavy kite, and it only works on a windy day, or does he have to have <laughs> jets attached? Well, I mean, push him show, he, he can fall with style. Oh, okay. Got there it. You. It's, fall, it's not flying. It's falling with style. <laughs> <laughs> now, aside from the the flame model kids, flame also create does those those crew of car curries, which you know Justin was showing off Megatron earlier. Um, we have confirmed, I believe, the Shadow Glass Optimus Prime, right? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. that actually just ended. So, um, you know, so that that's be coming out later this year. Uh, uh, so Shadow Glass will be coming. There's a oh, there's something more that I can't we can't talk about. Uh, but we did we did hint that Jazz is getting one. Um, we did hint that uh, somebody with wings is getting one. I'll, I'll let y'all. Do we, not, do we not say the name of that one with the wings? I don't we remember. Sure. I don't want to say it if they get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably best to, not to say it. Like, because like, like it's I don't remember. What am I allowed to say it? Not there's so many cool things. But yeah, um uh so yeah, and then of course we have uh, uh, uh the fallen, which is on its way too. Um uh Gurkar Curry. Uh and then th- and then of course, you know, like it's not Transformers, but we do have the mega uh, the uh, Megazord. Kurokar Curry later this year as well. That one is just, I have to get that one. I, I, I'm gonna have to clear some space off. Like, I'm not even sure if I even, like, I'm gonna have to rearrange shelves on that case behind me to figure out a place for it, you know? Time to add some more shelves. <laughs> you might actually have to start building those Gunpla back yeah. there instead of just displaying the box. But there's, there's, there's so many of them. If you build yeah. it and then put another shelf there, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's no shame in collecting the boxes. The art on the on, on the Gumball boxes is super duper cool. You could just be a box collector. It's there's nothing wrong with it. it, it I, I'm never. I, I, will, <laughs> I will. I will build through my backlog. I don't know about that. <laughs> here's, what, here's what we do. The next convention we go to, you know, uh, you know, San Diego is canceled. Maybe it's New York Comic Con. We bring your entire backlog. We put it on a table. And just for the four days, with whoever wants to come by and build kits, we all just build kits <laughs> together, like like live stream for like mm-hmm. four days. Can, yeah, like, can we finish all his whole backlog in the four days? There you go. And I if you build you, it, you get to yeah. keep it. That way, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> My money! No! <laughs> I think the only way for this to work is if David's in like one of those like go-go dancer cages, and he can't actually get to you to stop you when you get to oh, no. or as uh, as we build his kits. Poorly. <laughs> no. Oh God! Like you, you guys would at least sand the nubs, right? 
I no. I'll, I'll I'll do it for you. They need that. It adds character, Clark. Oh no! <laughs> I won't even use nippers. I'm just gonna tear it out with my teeth. Oh no! Hold on, <laughs> that hurts me. Savagery of it all. Na- naturally weathered that way. <laughs> yeah. My that, saliva that, will give it value. That would be cool. interesting, like a a backlog build off. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Everyone, bring your backlog and you know. <laughs> That might not be a bad idea. Maybe Minimum twenty you items. Your backlog and see if you get to the first something. <laughs> cool. it, it could be a fun after hours event. Like have everyone like we get a, we get a, we get one of those bigger rooms and we say everyone bring one kit from your backlog and let's all build these together and you know get like forty or fifty people building something from their backlog that they had they weren't building. It. Have a fun communal experience. Order some pizza. One day, you know, Get when up. when the world <laughs> is not ending. I hope no. so. I hope, I hope New York. <laughs> Fingers crossed, just the movie there, but you know. I need New York pizza. It has been too. Long. Oh yeah. I was even getting married. Just the moment. Oh. Yeah. I'll be on my not honeymoon because <laughs> the world's <laughs> probably still terrible. Oh man. There cool. is one question. Uh David, what's your craziest Transformers kit bash? Uh I know the my answer for it, and I'm sure Edmondson has an answer for it. <laughs> He doesn't want to torture us by making <laughs> bring that monstrosity out. One second. Oh. I'll be right back. No. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to that doesn't have to be uh, your craziest uh, kit bash. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That is true. Like he could have like attached like a bigger arm from something, and then you know, this one that has like half a head. So you know, crazy um, could mean all kinds of things. <laughs> Look at him just coming back laughing. This is my favorite one. So this was the first thing I built during the pandemic, uh, and it was, it was when uh, the apocalypse had just began. But uh, th- th- this is my favorite, just because I know what it does to David. <laughs> yeah, it hurts his soul. <laughs> my, my my devastator, who is perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Yikes! <laughs> so, <there it> <laughs> Ooh. That's just a. I've never wished harm on an inanimate object before in my life. Right. Like, like, I hope that I hope that next time there's an earthquake, that every single person in your house is totally safe and Just- all of your collectibles and everything is safe. <laughs> but for some reason, like a freak accident happens, and that is just perfectly he- bisected in half just to show you how wrong it is. <laughs> he was yeah. not balanced. That's why he fell. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The first thing that kept me sane during the apocalypse. I needed something to focus on. And I always wanted to do this, so yeah, there he is. Balance. Yeah, is. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a regular it. one right behind David on his left shoulder. The right way. Yeah, the right way. The correct one. So I have to dip, guys, but I know you three might, we're going to want to continue talking, but I have to go to something else. So thank you guys all for joining uh, me. You guys enjoy your rest of the time with these three people. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, it's fine. But um, yeah, no, it's exciting stuff, man. I uh, I think that Transformers just always has a way to just get into our hearts because we love things that transform. Flame kits don't transform, but that's okay. We got them in their amazing action mm-hmm. uh, robotic form, and that's and that's fine. That's hunky dory. We're okay with that. It took me a while to digest that. I'm like, how can a transformer not transform? But when you see them, just how cool they are, holding up their guns or their weapons or whatever the case may be. Um, that's really where the articulation goes. I noticed that, like, even with my Hasbro stuff, when it's a car, it's just a car sitting there. So, I mean, it's neat and all, but I got right. Hot Wheels too. <laughs> so, <laughs> why not have my robot, you know, kick well, I, I really like the, you know, like how they're stylized and the flexibility and the stability we get. You know, I think if, if they were to transform to get this same level of flexibility and durability while being a molecule, they have to be, be sacrificed. It'd be much bigger and much, much more expensive if they want like, to be able to really, to really pull that off. And right. so I, I like only spending forty dollars and not spending uh, about <laughs> billion dollars on a, <laughs> on a single kid. I know. But, but that being said, I would buy it though. Sure. <laughs> Who wouldn't, right? <laughs> I, mean, I, I spend a lot of money on all kids, as you can tell. <laughs> no, that's great. No, that's fun stuff, man. Yeah. Who uh, who is your favorite Transformer, Clark, of all time? My favorite one is Ironhide. Uh, I've never understood why. Just that whatever they say his name, I I'm usually pretty happy. So sure. I, I always like Ironhide. I know he's not really like a main a main dude, but 
I like him. He's got big guns. Yeah. And his name. And I thought that. Then they did a really good job of him in the you know first couple movies there. You know, he was yeah. really uh, super like dark, like his the the black SUV, and then he's got that super crazy chrome face, and then just monster guns. He's <laughs> like, oh my gosh. <laughs> He that he uh, him in that movie when he was the SUV is actually why I drive an SUV now. I want oh, <laughs> I, 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 I to drive, and, and I, I always make sure I get a General Motors vehicle since that's all the every Transformer is a General Motors vehicle. So right. I make sure I'm from a, a Chevy just to make sure I stay in that family. <laughs> that theoretically, if Transformers were ever real and Grimlock or, and his Ironhide needed to be able to scan a vehicle, maybe he could scan mine. You never know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I will say, I will say ever since that first movie there were so many times like I've seen vehicles with just the little uh the plate where they changed it from whatever brand it was to either an Autobot or a Decepticon you know or like I even seen like uh who, like they had what's the what that little logo of, like instead of protect and serve they had a uh, what did it say what was it like search and destroy or something yeah, yeah search and destroy or something <laughs> like that and I saw some vehicles with them like man I kind of don't trust some of these cars right now <laughs> Right. <laughs> Are you like Man 217 or whatever? <laughs> yeah, no, that's crazy oh. stuff. Oh, man. But yeah, I, uh, I'm happy to see everything growing. And I, I can't wait to tell you guys all, all the cool stuff we have coming up, man. It's going to be it's gonna be great. And I, I'm really excited for, for Windblade at the end of this month. But I'm also hyped for, for, uh, for, for Bug Bite there. It's our first GoBot turn Transformer. <laughs> yeah, he looks great. Yeah, there was like yeah, a comment I, earlier where it was like the purple details look real look so sick. So yeah, so. I'm going to take those decals and put them on probably everything else too. Like I'm yeah. gonna have more. <laughs> I need those. You know, fun. Uh, I feel like I remember decal like the first toys I ever got with decals were Transformers toys uh, back in the day. It was like this little sheet of different sized, uh, whether it be like the Autobot logo or the Decepticon logo. Mm-hmm. And um, I was always too scared to ever do anything. <laughs> I was like, ah, I'll just leave this sheet here. I don't know how to <laughs> stick stuff. <laughs> I'll ruin it. By multiples so that you can mess up, you've got a second chance. Sure. <laughs> I, need, I need tweezers and the jeweler goggles and just multiple lenses because I'm terrible at applying stickers. <laughs> I've done it before. Like, I'll buy like three year kit for doing a kit bash or whatever. And I'm like, okay, let me, let me try this delicate procedure. Snap. All right, we'll throw all that away. <laughs> <laughs> that's not over again. <laughs> oh, totally. Decals are hard, man. That's that's let somebody else do it. Yeah. It's like uh, in video games when you just can't beat that boss. You're like, here, you you do it. <laughs> Would you like to give it a try? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have many markets that can make that kneeling pose like that. Right. I always like that. That's one of the poses I like to do because like. Uh, I'm really, I'm really into snipers. You know, like my favorite gun player is like the GM sniper too, uh, Master Grace. So I like, I like putting a lot of my kits into into sniper poses. So like when I saw that Robin pose, I'm like, so what you're saying is I can modify his gun into a sniper like sniper <laughs> rod in this. The idea right. started turning. <laughs> I'm telling yeah, you, man, kneeling is hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think, you know, you said it earlier that it's like building a figure. Like, that Rodimus Prime looks like an action figure. It doesn't look like a model kit to me. Right. Which is like, uh, a lot of comments we bought, well, were given when we first put it out there. Like, is this an action figure or a model kit? It's a model kit. That's how good they are. <laughs> right. Like a completed figure, you know? Mm-hmm. No, totally. And it's available on bluefinbrands.com. Right now, actually. Uh, limited numbers. So, you know, don't don't wait. <laughs> uh, because, I was right? gonna say like I think because uh, one time when you know we did have Bug Bite originally up, and then obviously you know the New York Comic Con had ended, so it was gone. And then I know that there was a couple people looking for him, so you know he's back up. So you really yeah. don't want to miss out. Yeah, definitely don't. I'm I'm, I'm just looking forward to this guy. Yeah, he <laughs> looks great. I'm so, putting the shoulders out for drift shoulders. I'm giving him swords and guns, and maybe make a little cloak for him. So you're gonna get like three or four or what are the numbers we're looking at? I may have to get because because he's got the you got the the, the the double pistol to turn to the rifle. I might have to get four. Right, and four. look at the optional right. hands. How cool is that? Yeah, for I a model three. kit. Yeah, those are pretty good hands. I might have to buy four just to have extra guns on him too. So yeah, yeah. four. That's fantastic. Four sounds about right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, mean, I, I would have been satisfied with the one, but all right. <laughs> oh, you know what I can do? I can take the uh, the backpack from Bug Bite, turn the uh, the jetpack booster parts from the helicopter backpack, turn those around, turn them into cannons, give them back cannons. Yeah. I'm going to give them back cannons. You know what? I'm going to give them the axe hammer. That too, huh? You know that- how you kit bash people. <laughs> right. Do, mm-hmm. his, do his fingers move, or are those is that no, why no, there's no, multiple they're, hands? Uh, they're solid. Right. Only the, okay. uh, the, the Furai action. Uh, Optimus Primal moves, which, which, at first I didn't think that it was, was going to do that until I was looking at the photos. I'm like, wait a minute, there's no other hands, but there's hand poses. What is happening? Right. <laughs> and I had to ask them. I'm like, what's going on? They're like, oh, the hand move. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, AJ and I were just talking about that. How it's kind of rare to have uh, finger articulation in action figures. Yeah. Yeah. When you oh, do, I, I get all kinds of lost as soon as you have that articulation available. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I was just fine <laughs> with just the op, like with just several hands. Really? Now I have to think about this. All right, mm. I have to use yeah. my imagination. That's <laughs> yeah. that going to be really great when I make it have double cannons. It's going to be great. Cool. Yeah. Make sure you share it with everyone on Twitter. You know, sure, everyone yeah. loves seeing that mm. stuff. Yeah, I, I've just got back into into building. I recovered from the the winter, so <laughs> things are starting to open up. The sun is outside. So I, I'm, I'm free to go outside in prime and do things outside now. So, well, it was raining yesterday, so I, I don't think it was good yesterday. And, you know, and it, it sucks. I also, I also had to get my car washed too, and then it rained. I'm like, <laughs> look at that works. Uh, but it's clean water instead of dirty water. When your car is already dirty, then it just makes it worse. Yeah, that's true. But the money. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Oh yeah. man! Uh, and we should remind everyone to actually go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest where you can enter to win this amazing Gundam giveaway extravaganza. And I got to tell you, we're actually giving away so much stuff. Grand prizes are going to be two winners, as David mentioned. You're getting uh, actually 27 kits, including the Perfect Grade Unleashed. Second prize is we'll have two winners as well, each getting 17 kits, including the Hello Kitty Zaku 2 and the RX Zero Unicorn Gundam MG Evolution which is awesome. Third place is actually going to get, uh, we're going to have four winners and they'll actually get 12 different kits. And one of those is even the RX 78 3.0 master grade, which is another amazing model kit. Mm-hmm. So head on over to bloopingbrands.com slash contest. Remember there's daily entries that you can do. There's all these amazing action items that you can do to just by following, you know, bluefin brands or at Tomashi nations or at flame toys, us, and that'll get you entries. So be sure to do that. And um, I wish you all the best of luck in winning. Yeah, there's that's a lot of prizes. You know, it's called an extravaganza for a reason. So, you know, we again, you've listed at least what is that like ten winners, twelve winners already? No, sure. you said you had one that's at seven. So yeah, fifteen yeah, is where we're 15. at. Because fourth place, yeah, fourth place, we're actually gonna have seven winners with all yeah. kinds of crazy kids. So Dang. nice. And then we just have even more random stuff that people are going to win. <laughs> it's like, you didn't win the grand yeah. prize, but you also won this. So check this out. Uh, yeah. Giving away lots and lots and lots of model kits. Very okay. excited. Excellent. Uh, there was one question. Uh, Jose uh, Roberta just jumped in. So he's a, which model figure has articulated fingers? So, Well, so it's uh, <clears throat> the Optimus Primal uh, Fury Action uh, figure. Uh, it's uh, so it's not a model kit, it's, it's an action figure, so it's got die cast in it, it's uh, it's pre made, but he his hands do uh, are fully articulate, which is uh, really amazing. And it's actually that was actually the sole reason I bought the figure when I saw <laughs> the figure, I'm like, I have to buy that just immediately. So, sure, yeah, mm-hmm. there's a lot of figures that you just have to buy. I noticed that. <sighs> well, it's usually model kits instead of figures, but sometimes every now and then a figure comes along. Yeah, you know, like hand that. articulation. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I had to get that uh, uh, from Santa. That was really cool. Uh, the the Kerr Car Curry Optimus Prime was just, it was fire when I first saw it. I'm like, I, I, I threw money at the screen. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like inserting dollar bills into your disk drive. You're like, hello. How you, yours might actually have that, that function. Mine doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that was my first experience ever seeing a uh, Kuro Kara Curry was that Optimus Prime. Uh, I got my hands on it at um, C2E2 last year. We had like four available on the showroom floor. And so 
picked it up. I was like, oh my god, this thing weighs a ton. So <laughs> it, is gone, it is gone now. Uh, but your best bet is to get the uh, the shattered glass off of time uh, if you missed out. Um, but that one also sold really fast, so I'm sorry. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think I think Big Bad Toy Story might still have it in stock. They might, yeah, because because uh, the pre order pre order period just ended like a few days ago, so hmm. you might be able to get a few out there. Yeah, here. they right. still have it. Hold, please, check this out. So what you're saying is like you know don't don't miss uh, don't miss out get them while you can because once they're gone they're gone yeah forever die guys is not easy to reprint for anybody who know who's familiar with the process so yeah All right, he, so can you guys see that yeah yeah um, he's got like seven LED lights in his body he's he's mm-hmm. incredible mm-hmm. and he looks all angry and evil yeah. Because that's how Shattered Glass works, right? It's like a yeah. bizarro world where yeah. up up is down, good is bad. Right. I can't imagine him talking nicely to someone. Yeah. He's like, give me a donut. <laughs> he's, all, he's all mean. And he's like, yeah. there's a sword and a stone. He's King Arthur in this shot. This is incredible. And I like how when you when you when you pull the handle, like the sides of the sword come out, like the of the, of the handle, like they flare out to make, make like a little like cross guard, which is pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Okay. Yeah. This is, that weapon is just one away from being an axe hammer. <laughs> it right? is. Yeah, it has a thruster though, so I think that's cooler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these guys are crazy. So much yeah. articulation. Look at that face. So he has. Does he have a guard and a face? Like, is there two different versions? Uh, oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Look at that. He's got his mouth guard. That's cool. Yeah. No, yeah, it, it's 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 pretty awesome. Sign me up. And uh, there, there is going to be because I know we, we we released a teaser for it. They did show off a Jetfire armor, so there you, you know, go. It is it is what it is. So if you want to, I, I wouldn't miss out. Just like I told everybody who wanted the Black Star Saber, because you know the three Leos out there, y'all. So you're gonna want to come back. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> well, you know, one of my favorite lines in the second Transformers movie is when the the little Wheelie guy. He's like, "This guy's a legend, like like chairman of the board." Talking about Jetfire. That's like my favorite line in the whole movie. He's like this old guy with a cane. <laughs> he looks great. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm pretty hyped for what this year has for Flame Toys and Transformers, especially wait till we get the G.I. Joe Empowering, y'all. It's, it's, going, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, that's a lot of action. Uh, Snake Eyes is the one that was revealed for G.I. Joe. Is that correct? Snake Eyes is coming out first. Uh, and hopefully there will be a surprise along with them. So that, that's going to be cool. Uh, and then Storm Shadow will, will be later this year as well. So nice, those yeah. two go together like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Pretty much, if you grew in the 80s and 90s, you know, Flame Toys has got it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then that, that, big, that big bad Megazord man, which is yeah. Be- and a, a price has yet to be revealed on that guy, right? Correct, yeah. We're, it's, it's still don't worry, we will let everyone know <laughs> when that price is available. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. Yeah, no, it looks it looks it looks fantastic. I can't Very wait. Stylized. To, I can't wait to see because you know if you notice in the in the top left corner of the image that we had posted for that, it said combine and transform. So the Megazord will be doing some uh, some transform and combining action. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. Well, yeah. cool. All right then. Well, uh, does anybody have anything else to add? Uh, yeah, let's, see, let's see chat. <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's uh. <laughs> ah. Oh. Right, we got one last question from Jose. He's asking, "You think there might be some sort of deluxe version, Flame Toys Car Curry, where they have Victory Leo and Star Saber?" As of right now, I don't know of that happening. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean that. That would be good for those who missed out on Star Saber, uh, but it also would be hella expensive. <laughs> right, I'm sure, Jose is willing to dish it out right now. Yeah, um, he's, throw, he's throwing the money at the screen as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, mean, I would never say never, but uh, as of right now, it's not it's not planned. But yeah, you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't be impossible. So sure. I will pass that along to Flame Toys. Cool. Call him right now. We'll wait. 
<laughs> right now, wake him up. It's, it's we important. want evidence. <laughs> All the air confirmation. This needs to be an SDCC <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Call the operator. I need to make a person to person call to Flame Toys. Wake them up, please. <laughs> Chairman. Damn, but please. <laughs> Perfect. Well, yeah. cool. Well, thank you for joining us for another awesome live stream of uh, our Bluefin little hangouts that we're doing. Uh, remember to check out bluefinbrands.com for our Spring into Savings event going on right now. We can save big dollars on all sorts of bundles and uh, all the cart items as well. And it's going on now through March 14th, so you have through Sunday. So if you get paid on Friday, then you are more than welcome to to shop then you got mm -hmm. time which is awesome and this dragon ball bundle is um one of our favorites uh it's rocking and rolling we uh we love the idea of getting three sh figure arts all in one big bundle and of course the dragon radar which uh we have played with for hours and hours and hours uh specifically at toy fair last year <laughs> and uh none of our wishes have yet to come true but uh maybe we just didn't find all the dragon balls that we thought that we found so nope. There's that. <laughs> and then also this Titan bundle. Uh, Thanos is amazing. And then, of course, the uh, the Captain versus Captain is uh, David's favorite SH figure artist. He loves that a lot. It even has that awesome motion where you can throw a shield, and, and it's a really cool effect to it. So be sure to check that out. And then, as mentioned, we do have that Gundam extravaganza going on right now. Head over to bloopandbrands.com slash contest where you can enter to win. Uh, you can do that daily. The contest is going on for several more days. So you got time. But please, please, please sign up for that. Uh, there are multiple winners. That we're going to have at least 20 winners. So um, definitely get in on that. It's not just a one and done, take winner take all. It's, uh, it's a lot for everybody. And we're very excited about that. Uh, also follow at Bluefin Brands across all social media platforms. Uh, we like to keep you up to date with news, announcements, and even more giveaways. So it's always a blast. Uh, as well as um, AJ, what is it? Flame Toys US. Yeah, for... Flame Toys US. Perfect. For all these amazing announcements. Uh, those announcements can come a little bit uh, in the wee hours of the night. <laughs> so uh, it's not uncommon for 12.04 a.m. to get a, a news drop on an exciting new model kit that's, that's making its way to the United States. So definitely check out at Flame Toys US. Just stop sleeping. That's what I did. Right. <laughs> Set your alarm. 1204 <laughs> AM every day. <laughs> every night. <laughs> I like my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who needs it? Who needs it? Uh, and other than that, uh, we'll be back tomorrow to talk about Earwig and the Witch, the new film from Studio Ghibli that is airing right now on HBO Max. So check it out. It's completely different from any Studio Ghibli film that you've seen before. Uh, the animation is uh, it's it's fun. It's pops. It's 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 might be hard to get used to at first if you're used to traditional Ghibli studio stuff, but um, I think it's incredible. I had a lot of fun with it. The music's fun. And I uh, can't wait to talk about it tomorrow. So cool. we will see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Other than that, have a fabulous day. And thank you so much. <laughs>